Hey, what's up dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome to Skyrim. Yes, this is the little special different episode today, and I'm looking different because this video is late. I'm sorry about that. Um, a couple things that I didn't say very clearly in my filming of it. Number one, this episode is meant to be different. This is a off-canon episode. So, Empress Palpatine will die this episode multiple times because I'm demonstrating something. That's what's going on. Permadeath returns the moment we stop this thing. So don't worry. So when you see that, I'm just trying to make a point. Um, I failed to make that very clear. So I was like, oh god, everyone's going to think I'm cheating. No, 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 not cheating. Just demonstrating. We won't save. So just start like that. Okay. I think that's about it of all the things that are expected. So enjoy the uh, kind of different sort of setup. All right. Woo! Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Skyrim. Yes, the place where Empress Palpatine is going to become the Empress of Skyrim, and it's going to be amazing. However, first, there's something I want to move us into. And that, specifically, is in a little bit of discussion. One is that I have found myself in a position where it is cold out. And so, although it is beautiful with the snow and everything, I wanted to basically share something that's important to keep in mind. When you are freezing cold, you want to make sure that you have plenty of warmth. For example, if you're sitting by a fire, you have to ensure that there's plenty of firewood in order to keep you warm. You don't want to have something where it's just not working out. I mean, it's just, it's pretty bad. Of course, you want to ensure that there's plenty of airflow as well in order to get the fire nice and hot and also so that it can breathe well. Finally, this is the important part, and this is where I was talking about this video being a little different this day is that we have added a mod. Now, I add mods all the time, but I want you guys to get a look at what's happened here. There's way more points. Way more points. And there's even new trees. Now, what has happened is I added Skyrim Redone, and I did this for a few reasons. One is that when I was playing uh, the other Skyrim mods, they didn't always work well together. So I basically just went, all right, let's find a whole, someone else's redone version of Skyrim, and then let's just copy that and put it in our thing. And this was a highly recommended one. And god damn is it fun. And as we wait for our pecs to res our pecs. Our perks to respirk. We're going to go some body fire jumping. So the spec re-perk all of the funness. Um, <laughs> the perk re-spec. God. Anyway, it allows us to, you know, take a brand new character and turn them into something different. I could go and explain all the new stuff right here. And it would take a significant amount of time. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pop through here and drop perks in. And as we go, I'll start talking about them. Because I'm going to enter this castle that we just kind of showed up to. And I'm going to start fighting people. And in that situation, then we'll be able to see the actual activity occurring of what's going on skill-wise and perk-wise and discussion. And we'll kind of hit some of those new... Uh, scenarios as we go through as well um this by the way is pickpocketing and lock picking they've combined into that one thing so we are going to enter this and i'm going to take you know we still have the immersion mod on so the colors are still slightly more saturated uh it's not as noticeable here but it is still here and we're going to take this opportunity to just enjoy some ambiance that is skyrim's awesomeness that it's known to do and that's just for flimsies Uh, I love this scene because you just have these two characters who are arguing over like life as like I guess a necromancer conjurer combo or something anyway um, that little stutter that was me so I'm gonna begin and we're gonna talk about the new fighting how it works now I want to demonstrate it with the help of our friends here oh I'm detected uh, first thing is that people are more aggressive also damage is much greater now as well See, people also suffer from bleeding damages. And, um, 
Sneak attack damage is higher now. That was a three times attack rather than just the normal two for a melee weapon. She died from the bleeding damage as I struck her, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, I happen to find that very cool indeed. She has a staff of flames. Someone else is here. Someone else is here. Okay. That's a problem. Before we deal with that, we're going to grab some more stuff. Anyway. Oh, Spell Tome Fear. That is awesome. That's exactly what I'd like to see as being me. Aw, oh, sweet. That's so these guys are stuck behind this wall. Uh, they know that I'm here, but they're behind it. That's fine. Whatever. I guess there's somebody in here. Oh. That was odd. So, the battle and damage is much, much more vicious, and it's more aggressive. So, and it basically makes it a bit more difficult process where I can die much faster. Oh, hey, oh. Uh, shall we try out our fear spell? Oh, I missed. Yes, run away! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty cool indeed. She just bolts. Now, if I was a bow character, I think I would combine this, and it would be really cool. Oh, that allows me to get a couple... Uh-oh. So, ice really slows you down. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, something very cool. People react uh, more realistically to a strike that hurts more. Um... Things like uh, potions now heal over time, so I might actually start using potions because I feel more that it's way, way less of a... Ooh, Spell Tome Fear. It's way, way less of a um, extra advantage. Same way that I feel that um, uh, upgrading armor is now significantly less of an advantage because we're going to go to the skills to kind of demonstrate this. If we go to the smithing, there it is. If we go to the smithing, the first thing is just... In it's... Like, that's Leathercraft. Then it's Elven. It takes some time to get to these things. And, you know, it's like... and You saw how much I was getting hurt by those two. That's a pretty powerful group of peeps. They, uh, they got some skills. So, anyway. Uh, also, since we are characters who are going kind of down the illusion path with, like, brain tricks and stuff, as well as destruction path, I want to take a moment to kind of point out uh, a couple of the spells that exist in this. For one... We have destruction, which I've increased. We can do rash studies and get more so, or we can kind of start using it. I'm not exactly sure how I feel using just lightning yet because it's it's a Jedi mix thing. Shock spells, only one soul perk. So it makes it so you can only be using the uh, lightning powers. Um, gets even more so, shock resistance increases. It's one of these things where it really allows you to focus on one thing. If we go to the illusion, which I think is super interesting. You start getting things like uh, a phantom engine. image spawns a small, like, uh, positive buffs. Uh, targets affected by fear continue to transfer small amounts of stamina and magic into the caster. Like, enemies affected by calm continuously heal the caster. Interesting changes to the way that these spells work. Uh, let's see if I can get to the re retaliating echoes. When killed, a split image deals damages the killer's health by 5%. Like, that's kind of interesting. I have no idea what it means yet because I haven't found the spells related to it, but that's really cool, whatever it is. Uh, th things have been changed on the ground. Dunmar still have protection from fire, but they also, now their ancestral call isn't that flame cloak anymore. Uh, it's something completely different. <laughs> um, here. Uh, oh, it's not in here. It doesn't, it doesn't show, really. It's not a selectable ability, it's just, it's passive. Um, I'm not going to spoil it because it's, pretty epic when you see it happen so we have s now the the dungeons don't level up with me anymore so a dungeon can be way higher level or way lower level than me now as well uh so baddies can be super strong or super weak and it basically changes up um the difficulty in a way where it's like i can't just sort of enter and find out later if i was strong enough i gotta be like extremely aware of how i'm acting in my surroundings um uh Sneaking becomes more important because as damage is increased. Oh! Oh, I'm on fire. I hit a trap. Because as damage is increased. Um, uh oh. We got a dude. Oh, we got a lot of dudes. Whew. All right. 
That's what the Fury spell was made for. Everybody, uh, you guys all deal with it. I'm not here. Go away. Alright. Alright. Things like Quiet Casting is now in the sneak, uh, sneak Tree, which makes sense, you know? Like, if you sneak a lot, I think it would make sense that you should have Quiet Casting there, rather than the Illusion. Also, people search harder now that, um, oh god, please don't find me. People search harder now, and for longer. So they're not going to just forget that I'm here. Oh, they, that one resisted fury. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't. Go. Go away. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough magic yet. Um, let's, let's demonstrate a potion now that we're at the situation. Magic of fortification increased. Seven points over four seconds new way to do the magic so it's not instantaneous and that's how my health works too oh did i get one yes uh oh oh god oh everybody else fight okay um just me and you oh okay walk away then walk away now i'm being really careful here now because for one i'm outnumbered which is extremely dangerous with these mods attached Characters get uh oh Characters are much stronger. Okay, we gotta we gotta get healing up. We gotta get healing up. It I will not survive. Heal damn it! Okay! Okay! Alright, we're run we're going for a run. We are getting the hell out for a moment. Oh, close the door. Okay. Oh, that's a one way. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Carrying the plate. Carrying the plate. Alright. Stick to the side. I only see one of them right now. Yeah, I know you're trying to get closer. Ha! Woo! Suck it. <laughs> so, now we shall continue. Other changes. Whoa! Um, ooh, we'll fear work on her. One of the big changes is that now, yes, it worked. Run from me! Run from me! Yes! No, you cannot. Where'd you go? Keep her afraid. She resisted fear, so... Uh-oh! Closed door! Okay, um... So, one of the other changes is that prices are now way more expensive and worse for you. Uh, it's a cool change because a lot of times you find yourself with so much money... It makes it so that it's... Did I hit her with fear? Let's try it again. Her wards are blocking it. Oh, she can't open the door. Uh, the, like, so it makes it beneficial to put money into speechcraft. Money. Perks into speechcraft. Because these perks become extra expensive. Or, the prices are really shitty. So it's beneficial if you want to, like, make any money selling anything. I'm thinking maybe we should just leave her alone for now. <laughs> She's really powerful. And those ice spells are really hurting. Whoa! You got an idea of some of the fighting, some of the looking, how the like the actual going is? I'm just hanging out here until I'm going to get hidden. Because I don't want to be uh, killed right now. Because everybody's legitimately pretty tough. So, the next stuff, we're going to make our way. Off to Windhelm, joining the Dark Brotherhood, all that shebang shebang. And that's going to be super cool. So, dudes, I guess uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. You want to see more, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing so. And, of course, in the ground, rise to meet your feet. The window is meet you back in the sunshine. Will me your sexy, sexy face. And, dudes, remember, Empress Palpatine might be a bit short-lived because she is an old-fashioned character coming from an old-fashioned style of playing the game. Uh, it's... So things are going to be a little a little interesting, um, since everything has got a bit harder. And we'll see some more of that. So, you know, taking bets now. When do you think she's going to go? Anyway, see you later, dudes. Bye.